Yeah, good day. It's an old two Charlie Tango Mike here. Let me just turn his volume down. Yeah, so this is the uh, the radio all boxed up. So um, let me just uh, turn it off and explain a few things here. So it's got an external battery back here. So turn the radio off. Um, so it's all all boxed up now. So traditionally it would come in the old Tupperware container. So that's what I traditionally take tramping. So it's uh, in a little plastic container and take that off. And there you have it. So it was a bit of a, a squeeze to get it all in, but it's uh, it's it's all there, which is good. Um, so just to sort of recap on the, the various parts, uh, we've got the TR switch up here, so that just transmit, receive. Um, that's double pole, double throw, so that's just switching the antenna, which is coming in through here uh, between the transmit and the receive side, the antenna that is, and then also switching um, the 12 volts uh, around the circuit. So um, where to start? Over the back end corner we got the Teensy. Um, and the Teensy, um, as per the way the circuit's been going all the way along, uh, is driving the SI5351. That's over in the back corner down here, using clock two now. So clock two, just in the corner there, dropping down that orange wire into the, the quadrature uh, generator, which generates the two clock signals out through the coupling capacitors and the um, impedance matching resistor into the two SBL ones. That's one channel there, that's the other channel. Um, the audio is the uh, the black and uh, red here, say in the black and white, which is off to uh, the Tensi there. Um, just in this little corner here is the uh, receive um, amplifier. So for the incoming RF comes in, gets amplified through uh, a switching relay here. Um, maybe next time I'll, I'll do it using diodes, but at the moment I've sort of just stuck with uh, a relay. And that just switches um, the input or the output from the bandpass filter and the, and the two SBL1s between the receive side, so reside through here, or on transmit through here out to the transmit, and we'll look at that in a sec. Um, what we've got here in terms of controls, I've uh, got the screen on top obviously, uh, a little um, rotary encoder and the push button switch underneath what I've done here is if you push the switch in and turn the encoder it changes the volume up and down release the switch and then that goes back to changing the frequency um, I found that was a way just to get around trying to find real estate for a, uh, a pot if I had to it's easy enough then just to uh, interface in with those three little pins there, which is where the, the pot goes. But at the moment, that's a that's a, an easy enough solution. So on the transmit side, as we said, um, transmit RF comes out of the two SBL ones through the bandpass filter, through the relay. This time, it comes out through this black wire, uh, through a single stage three nine zero four amplifier or preamp, um, and then the output of that drives into the main power amp side. Two, uh, two and three oh five threes, um, one two, and then that feeds into a push pull arrangement, which is running uh, two uh, BD one three nines, so two in parallel. I find that works out quite well. Um, and then uh, the output uh, transformer, and then back through that little hole there, back to the TR switch. Um, what else we want to cover? Oh yeah, that's right. Um, in New Zealand, we have a uh, an, a, uh, a mountain safety radio service, which runs uh, roughly about 3.2 megs. So what I've done with this uh, bandpass filter here is I've got a couple of additional capacitors that just sit in parallel with these two here, um, and then they get switched to earth via this little transistor uh, to put them in circuit. So through the brown wire here, with the Teensy, when the frequency drops below 3.6 megahertz, uh, 5 volts onto that, turns that uh, transistor on, earths out those legs, and then those capacitors are now in parallel. And it shifts the whole frequency uh, bandpass of that uh, filter down uh, 200 kilohertz. Above um, 3.6 megs, uh, that transistor turns off, those get taken out of the circuit, and everything shifts back up again. 
So that was a, a, a reasonably good way of uh, allowing that one sort of bandpass filter there to cover all the way from 3.2 to 3.9 megs. That seems to work quite well. Uh, microphone input here, and it loops around into the microphone input of the uh, the audio board. Um, what else we got? Just sort of utilising uh, uh, the uh, edge connector there. Just that just makes it nice and easy. Uh, what else? What we got? No, I think it's probably about all actually. So otherwise, the circuit's exactly the same. Um, I do want to make some enhancements uh, on the software side of the house, so I am going to throw into the Tensi uh, some additional audio filters. Um, I'm going to have, at the moment it's currently set on 2.8 megs, say again 2.8 kilohertz, uh, low pass filter on receive. Uh, I am going to uh, generate CW as well, so on the CW receive side I'll put in a, a 700 hertz and probably a 250 hertz option as well. Um, receive low pass filters and I'll put a key in. Um, what I'm going to do for the oscillator on the, the key side for the CW is I'll do it the old fashioned way. So inside here I'll have a, a software oscillator generating, pick a number, 700 hertz, uh, which I'll then output traditionally, no other audio, so I'll get a nice clean um, um, discrete frequency on transmit. Uh, which would work quite nicely. So I will uh, do CW on that. And then I'll probably just change, the, I'll, I probably will add another switch in or I'll change the logic here somewhere that I can change modes from um, CW narrow, CW wide, and then back up into um, into audio, the lower sideband, because at the moment this is, uh, is being kept on, on the 80 meter band. So there you have it, um, all boxed up, working well. Um, what I think I'll do this time, I'll, uh, the next time I take this radio out, it'll be once summer comes around and we'll get out there for a tramp and we'll set up a proper antenna and uh, we shall um, give it a go. But like I say, nice small radio, you know, that's, so it fits in the palm of your hand um, and certainly quite light too, so that's easy enough to, to take tramping with me. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, any other questions, please just sing out. Um, I think my next project is going to be um, enhancing this sort of baseband radio over here, or my sort of the base rig. I'm quite keen to utilize an old Teensy uh, 3.1 um, to do some digital signal processing over here in the audio side. So um, I might do some DSP in terms of. Uh, um, audio frequencies in addition to the IF. Uh, I'll also use that Tensi to detect the peak and I'll use pulse width modulation to output um, output a voltage which I can then use to um, drive this this S meter. So I'll have an S meter on that as well. Uh, had to do some shielding on the IF, so again the microphone amplifier, and there's some problems there where I was getting RF on that amplifier, which was getting onto the um, onto the audio. Um, so yeah, that's what I might do. So I might have to tinker around with that one, make a bit of a hybrid between so the traditional analog circuits and uh, and um, digital. And I'll probably too play around with because I haven't done it before. Uh, is the diode switching? So I'll get away from using traditionally the the relays there. Um, same with the the two switches here. I've got for CW. I'll uh, do away with those and then we'll go to diode. Um, on the uh, the transmit side, I think I might play around with uh, RF 520s, and I've got some RF 510s as well, so might uh, have a tinker around with that just for something different. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed uh, that. Um, like I say, I'll I'll put the software up for the Tensi up on GitHub, so people can look at that one and um, please add. And uh, it's not perfect and by no way. I am certainly not a software engineer. But um, certainly a fun project. Um, got it all there in the end. Certainly uh, quite a few, well, not, not a huge amount of wires, but trying to find the real estate there can be fun. Anyway, any questions, sing out. Otherwise, like I say, um, once summer comes around, we'll get this out there in the uh, out in the bush. And it um, should be quite nice. Actually, get away from all the, uh, the noise uh, of the built up area. It should be quite nice to hear that. Nice and quiet from an RF point of view. Anyway, I'll say 73 is here, thanks very much, 
and uh, stand by for the next instalment of videos. ZL2 Charlie Tinker Mike, 73s.